level. Ideal start for Alarabi. But nice use of the boat there. Haven't seen it that much. Hasn't made an appearance from that uh, forehand of Phyllis. But it Yeah, I think both of them are on. Oh, you don't have any left, sorry. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> well, she'll take Gillis's. No, you're using both. Well, then, everyone's unhappy. Oh, no, no one but has a review. One, two. Okay, so we need to now wait till a fifth game, if there is one, for both players to have one review each. Yeah, shaking the head there, the use of the boat then, is effective three, if your opponent is not standing on that short line, which El Arabi was. So that was two steps up to the front court, taking that boat in very quickly. She's got to pull her back. She's got to make her tee position be much deeper in the court for the boat to be effective. Wow, aggressive. Oh, wow, she got that. Fantastic movement. Oh, that was oh. a clever switch around. Bought herself hours of time. Yep. Better from Achilles. Much more attacking squash. She needs to get on that ball early. That's it. Yeah, use the speed. Get up there early. Top of the bounce or even on the rise. And just slots it away. Was closing the gap on that early lead from Manorabi. Oh! 100% oh. she didn't mean that, but 100% you take Four, them all day long. <laughs> Both players able to see the funny side. Hands are us. Hand out. 4 3.
caught behind her again. There's spate in this game where Five, Hillis is really three. pushing up. Looking far more positive. And then El Arabi gets the claws in again, keeps her trapped behind her. And she hits that kill shot well. She's a yeah. good sense of space, just the distance, the, the shortness she needs to leave it. But still give it a bit of a thumping. even at the ranking that El Arabi's been at for a period of time, I feel there's so much untapped potential with her ability. Went through the juniors, of course, with Hani El Hamami. In my opinion, there's no reason why she can't be up in the mix oh, in the top oh, five. With wow. That, with that, with that. Now, I think she clipped Phyllis on the Six, three. forehead. Did she on the way through? I'm not sure. Just the butt of the racket. So slightly. But yeah, I mean the the story there was the you know she was in the coattails of El Hamami, ha actually having great success on a World Junior stage, but then El Hamami to overtaking her. Oh my it's word! Looking good today though. It's fearless. Seven, she's, three. she's really coming into her own. Seven three now in the fourth. She hang on to this lead. Well, it's shots like this and looking at the winners yeah. that she's created in this game, they're just confidence boosters at this stage. And it's not edgy, it's not... Oh, that that's was fantastic a boost, boost, isn't though. it? Yeah. That is one I never want to go and get <laughs> in my life. Opportunities, and then I feel when when she's taken them, there's just a there's more of a hesitancy about about Five, what she's seven. really good at. Like that's the thing that has changed over the past six months is that she is a phenomenal physical player, but she's taking risks and she's her game has shown some variation in terms of shot selection, slightly more attacking off the, with the drop, but we haven't seen it. For I'd say game, game in a bit now. Yeah, I mean, in contrast, she's hit one win one winner into the front, whereas Al Arabi's hit five winners into the front of wow. the court in this game. Alone. That's a big stat. Oh, oh, that is a big stat. Oh, maybe at six. Now a five. Lovely rotation there, slightly showing that. Great drive. That's it, that's it, there it is. Now six, eight. It's an area of her game that Rob Bowen's improved massively. Needed to happen if she was to break into the top 10. Now look at her. This is far from over, Ashling. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Didn't. <laughs> You're right. That's what I'm trying to say, Lisa. <laughs> but that is what Hillis needs to do. She needs to to make her mark on this game. to the 23 that we saw in the third. No player looking like they're oh struggling. Oh my goodness! That's, two. That's the 
front of the court, Lisa. Seven, one eight. on the forehand, now one delicious backhand volley on the backhand. Gosh, she's absolutely stabbed that in. Yeah. What a finish and what a time. Now this gets interesting. That momentum that El Arabi had with the confidence boosting shots gone. This is now edgy times. Is she going to maintain the high risk shots into the oh. front? Well, that will help, of course, what? the miscue in the back. And out, 9 7. 9 7 in the that fourth. Could be very costly. Yeah. It's just a mistimed shot. had has been on US soil. It was in Philadelphia, US Open. 2022. Hand out, eight, nine. Can she hold this ever so slight lead? Hasn't dropped off. Oh, it's the error. It's a high risk. It's a high risk error. I know. Two crucial points in this match so far. She's gone from that shot, gone for that shot at the back of the court. Hit the tent. Right now, Lisa, if it goes to a fifth, thoughts? They there. will. It will still be the same action. It'll be first to eleven. <laughs> tie break at ten all. <laughs> They're not Both players will have a review to, to seven. Who are you backing though? Who are you backing if it goes to a fifth? Will it help if I go first? You... I'm gonna back the Belgian. Me too. If she if she sneaks too. this. If she oh, sneaks if this. she sneaks <laughs> it, though, hang on, please Don't hold, bend. everyone. Don't mind us. It's now match ball. It's 10-9. Nine nine in the fourth. Here. Well played. Well played. That was very difficult because she yeah. knew El Arabi was hovering on her back. That's fantastic composure, yeah. isn't it? Chance for Gillis. These big points are so tough to play Gillis against yeah. because you know she's going to be stingy. She's not going to go for anything outrageous unless it's really on and she's really set. And so you have to take on the risk. Game ball, Gillis. Oh, too loose, too loose. Video referee decision on the Gillis appeal. Let's have a look. I think that's wise. It's a, the no wisest, comment, yeah, please. decision I've seen in my life. Oh, first movement. First movement wasn't quite, um, doesn't make a difference. <coughs> I mean, it, oh, it's, it's very, very small interference there. 
initially I was thinking, oh, she's she's gone slightly the wrong way, but oh, I don't think that yeah, makes a difference. It's I just, just the it's too minimal the that minimal. angle. Unfortunately, for Gillis, this is too minimal of an interference. The ball looks to be past her ever so slightly as well. It's, it's a tough call. Yes, let. Yes, let. Yes, let. They've ten. sat firmly on the fence on this one, Lisa. Well, I've obviously deemed that the contact is enough. Continue, please. Oh. The decision is a yes let. 11-10. Contact enough to just knock her off. Continue, Good width, good width. Takes away the volley there of El Arabi. Oh dear. No, nope. she's scraped it back up. Chance here. Gotta use the lift. <laughs> Gotta use the lift again. It's gone. Did it go out? It, it did. <laughs> it did, in a rather anticlimactic end to that fourth game. It's confirmed that the ball did go out. And we are in it for the fifth. Not quite the 23 minutes on that. Not far off at 18, 7, 69 minutes, two all, locked in. All to play for here. Time flies when you're having fun.